Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm just going to be doing a quick review of using IPVanish for accessing Netflix abroad. So I've been using IPVanish for close to a month now and I'm just going to share with you guys my thoughts and experiences with using them for accessing Netflix. So quickly, just before I do get stuck in, if you are looking to get started with IPVanish, I do have a massive discount link down below in the video description, which will definitely save you a bit of money if you do decide to go with them. Okay guys, so the short and sweet version is that IPVanish has actually been a really awesome provider in allowing me to access uh, different versions of websites from around the world. So as of making this video, I've uh, used IPVanish for accessing different versions of Netflix in the UK, Canada, US and a couple of other countries as well. And I've also used them for accessing HBO Go and also Amazon Prime as well. So just to show you guys a quick example of this, um, I'm currently connected to the Australian version of Netflix. So we do miss out on around 3000 TV shows and movies that can only be found in other countries. So just to show you guys a quick example of this, I'll just go ahead and search for a couple of titles and also when I connect to IPVanish, I'll actually play a little bit of Netflix in real time just so you guys can see that they are actually working as I actually don't see this in uh, many other videos out there. So to begin with, I'm just going to go ahead and search for Marvel and unfortunately we have no Marvel movies here in Australia and additionally, if I go ahead and search for the TV show Friends, uh, we also miss out on this one as well. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and open up my IPVanish uh, desktop app as well. And just as a side note, this app actually does uh, have an iOS version and an Android version as well. So if you want to go ahead and stream on the go, you can actually do that as well. And it also works perfectly from my own experiences. So once you do have the uh, desktop app open, you can go ahead and simply search for a particular country that you would like to connect to. Uh, so in this instance, I'm going to connect to the United States. So I'm going to leave this as is. And then I'm also going to leave the best available city and also the best available server as well, as this will automatically connect me to the uh, best optimized server so I can get the best experience uh, when streaming. So I'm just going to go ahead and press connect. And this will just take a couple of moments and once it does connect, this will connect my entire laptop. So this means I can go ahead and pretty much open any browser and I'm able to access all the different websites and the versions of the catalogs uh, that they do have on offer as well. So as you can see, we are now connected. So what I can do now is now navigate back to my Netflix homepage. Now once I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and refresh the browser. And this will then put me onto the American version uh, of Netflix. So again, I'm going to go ahead and search for those same titles. So the first one was Marvel. So I'll go ahead and search for that one. And as you can see, we have a couple of Marvel movies um, that I wasn't able to access just moments ago. And we also have some additional TV shows and movies that didn't show up, such as um, the Star Wars spin-off um, movie Solo, Spider-Man, and a couple of others as well. So what I'm going to do now is actually go ahead and play one of these movies uh, just a little bit in real time, just to show you guys a real world example of speeds, performance, and also quality when using IPVanish, as I don't see this, where, as, as I don't see this uh, anywhere else online. So I'm just going to go ahead and play this one right now with no edits. And from my own experience, it does take around 10 to 15 seconds uh, to get started. But once it does, there's pretty much no issues whatsoever. So as you can see, guys, that did take around 10 seconds uh, to get going. And there's no stuttering or buffering issues whatsoever. And this is also streaming in high definition as well. So I'm also going to go ahead and search for the Friends TV show as well and see if the TV show version um, works for this one. So as you can see, we now have the Friends TV show available. So I'm just going to go ahead and again, play a little bit of this in real time with no edits. So there you go, guys. That did take around five seconds to load, which is pretty good for IPVanish. Uh, and as, as I said, it does take me around 10 to 15 seconds as well. And this also depends on the uh, time of the day that you are watching it. So there you have it, guys. IPVanish actually works extremely well for accessing geo-blocked content such as Netflix from various countries around the world. So again, if you are looking to get started with IPVanish, don't forget to check out the discount link down below in the video description as that will definitely save you a bit of money.